Hey, Steve. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm doing well. Mm -hmm. And you, what about you? I'm doing great, too. It's just same old, same old. Mm You should start talking to your classmates. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Fernando. How are you? Uh, fine, teacher. I'm late, but fine. I'm tired, <laughs> you know. You, you're late. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're late, but fine. Okay. I'm late. I'm late, but, but fine. Excellent. Okay. I think we could start already. Uh, can you name some common phrases, guys, that you may heard about mm -hmm. yeah. common phrase common phrase Rosa. common phrases idioms what common phrases or idioms do you know uh, like once in a blue moon once in a blue moon okay yeah that's that's one of them piece of cake piece, piece of, of cake, cake. Mm -hmm. ah, piece of cake uh huh now you don't say this is uh, it's just in the context just a ah, piece of cake piece of cake mm -hmm. exactly that's great what else I saw the, the other day a video with, with uh, spill the beans. Don't spill the beans. No, I spill the beans. Spill the beans. Spill, yeah. Uh -huh. well, what was the context? Uh, like, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know how to say delatar. To, 
tell them or someone? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, tell her someone. Betray. Oh, betray, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or uh, break a leg. Break a leg. Oh, you stole it. Break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the way I would like to start the class tonight. I, we are, I'm going to send you a list of some um, idioms with their meaning. So you can use them, at least five, in a very short conversation. You know, a, a role play between two people, and you can use these five idioms, at least, in that short conversation. The whole point have, of, yeah? Sorry, I have spilled the wing. If you told someone about their, their own surprise party, for example. Oh, it's like la regaste in, in Spanish. <laughs> Yeah, similar. Yeah, it's similar. Oh, you screw it. And that sounds like it. Okay. I think I'm gonna send you some more. But in the end, the whole point of the of the exercise is for you to practice and see if you can put in context things, you know, find sense on it. So let me do the attendance first. We are 11, 10 actually. We are 10 now, so we're gonna be split it on, on trios. Okay, let's start the attendance. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Thank you. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brown Mejía. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Our audio is connecting. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Not here just yet. Bien, eh, ayer me llamaron la atención porque, y alguien de esa forma me llamó la atención porque no dije nada, eh, al ver que el 90% de las cámaras estaban apagadas. Y de, revisaron la clase y pues... Solamente un 20% de, de toda la clase tenía ese 90% de cámaras apagadas. O sea, eh, eh, perdón, lo, lo opuesto, ¿no? Es decir, toda la clase se tuvo la mayoría de cámaras apagadas. No se veía quién estaba recibiendo la clase. No había participación de los, de los, de los estudiantes. Um, so, y lo digo en español para que quede grabado también y que, que hagan un esfuerzo por... Eh, eh, conectarse y participar porque al final qué chiste tiene eh, pues venir solamente a, a estar oyendo no y no decir nada no sé tengo años de no ser alumno <ríe> pero <ríe> yo era de los que se sentaban adelante y pues aunque no me gustara la clase trataba de, de darle sentido a lo que el decano en la universidad estaba diciendo al menos eh, eso fue en la universidad claro en bachillerato el otro rollo, ¿no? <ríe> Ahí nadie ponía atención, pero bueno, hacerles saber eso, están acá para aprender y parte de, o la mayor parte del aprendizaje debe de ser su participación en la clase. Es el último módulo, así de que echenle ganas eh, con lo que queda, ¿no? Um, 
Let's see. Yesterday I stood with Steve. Actually, we had a very nice one-on-one -on -one class, and I'm all continue with that dynamic. Whoever is next, let me see. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think I could stay with um with David. I don't know if you have ten minutes at the end of the class, David. We haven't stayed. It was a chronological order. Yes, yes, it's okay. Okay, cool. I'm sending you um the idioms through your WhatsApp. The only thing you gotta do is create a short story. Okay, is using five idioms out of this list. Okay. These are some common. Some of them are very common. Some of, of them are not. So choose five on your group, on your trio, and then make a very short role play. At this point, you know what is a role play, right? <laughs> it's didn't A, it's didn't B. Okay. No matter what, what the context is, if it is a business related or not, just create the story, I mean, uh, the conversation, okay? Sounds like a plan? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Let's do it then. Three groups. Let's go. I'm going to move David to group number four. I mean, three. There you go. Repito, nadie se queda en este salón. Todos nos unimos a nuestros grupos para participar con nuestros compañeros. Ok, let's go. Hi, Garcia. I'm fine. Thanks for us. And you? So far, it's kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> it's far kind of good. Okay. Okay, it's it's the middle of the week. It's already the middle of there's, the week. And a... you know what? To, today was the summer solstice. So today was the longest day of the year. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know it. Okay. I feel I feel this day like the other day. Very long. Yeah. <laughs> and today begins the the summer of twenty twenty three. Oh. oh. So we're supposed to do like a role play, right? Yeah, like a role play, like a conversation or something related. Okay, so what do you think should we make the, the role play about? Like two co workers talking about something or any other environment? I don't know, like two co workers is good for me. It's a good option. Okay. Um. <laughs> So should we use should, should we like choose the um, the idioms and then base our conversation on it or yeah they yeah sure okay. I like I like speak uh -huh. speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. What's the meaning of this? Ah, you're just talking about actually a person at that moment. Speak of the devil. Oh, the teacher is I just got <laughs> <cut it. laughs> something like that. That's <laughs> something like that. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. You see who's not here. <laughs> My goodness. Sorry, teacher. It's a cake. It's a cake. Let, let, let the cat out, out of the bag. 
Sí, hay to buy. On the weather, uh, to kill two birds with one stone. Sí, the, I haven't burn. seen this before. Sí, hay to buy. To kill two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. To cut corners, no. So we need to make like a role play, like a conversation. Mm -hmm. Like a very short conversation. <laughs> Speaking of the devil. So we can start like, hi, hi guys, how are you? Hi. Uh, break a leg. I told you, I knew you were starting a, I knew you were starting a new job. So break a leg, Liana. <laughs> Oh, thank you. We can start maybe just the two of, the two of us, and maybe we are just talking. And I really want to use the speak of the devil, and maybe you just can say that <laughs> speak of the devil will be <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. it's like speak of the devil. Hey, Steve. Something sure. Something sure that uh, we can use with the three idioms. Modis, hmm? uh, mm -hmm. the best of war, of both war, this is the Hannah Montana. <laughs> example, <laughs> I really feeling under weather today. Under weather, yes. I have the... a terrible God for me. All the all the weekend, all the weekend of the uh, with I weekdays I feel we I feel with a cough or cold of uh huh you are sick I am really feeling under the weather <laughs> you are taking something <laughs> now hmm? you are taking something some medicine uh, yes yeah. Sorry, Tony. Uh, this is candy, right? What? Sorry, Tony, it's the candy, right? But there are there are a uh, uh, something to drink. Oh, really? Yes, yes. I it's only like see the a, candy. A, a, um, um, yeah, I don't know how to say harabe. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Medicine. <laughs> Medicine. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, will we start with that? Okay. There is a... Is there a idiom for... Nah. <laughs> the best... Um... Hang in there. Maybe it's another idiom. It's not on the on the list. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. What's mean? Hang in there. Hang in there means don't give up. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah. Hang in there. It describe me. Uh, do you plan to do anything? Do you plan to do anything special, Gracia? I'm sorry? No, no, <laughs> nothing. <Hello>. Continue. <laughs> do you plan to do anything? Then, no. I was reading. Oh, and then you can, you could maybe use um I saw it here. I want to kill two birds. Uh to kill two birds in a, with a stone to solve two problems at once. To kill two birds with stone to solve problems at once. Actually yeah. I would like to kill two birds with a stone. Uh by going to the States to visit my relative. And I don't know what else could you 
Uh, today I would like to give to Bergeson by going to the state to visit my relative and I don't know, maybe maybe visit or or know some places or know Disneyland. <laughs> Oh, yeah, um, go to this island for the first time. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan, yeah. Great, okay. So where are you seeing? Uh... Are you sure one? Slide? Yeah, two. No pain of wool. Hanging Hang there, which is not on the list, but a blessing in disguise. <laughs> then to kill Four. two birds with a stone. Five. And Six. That sounds like a man. Yeah, and then I I can I don't know, maybe maybe express my desire to 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 go with you. <laughs> For example, I I could say I oh I wish I wish I wish you were there. Europe, something like that, right? That he can say he can introduce like once in a blue moon I go to Europe, I travel to Europe, stuff like that. Like going a weekend to my home. I don't know. He's a fancy. He's a picky man. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> picky man. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, I think that we have the, like the idea. The idea, exactly. What to practice? Yes. What you want? That you know that we like, develop a life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just go. Hi, Liana. How are you? Hello, Ana Claudia. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Look at you. I heard that you have a new job. Break a leg, Liana. And thank you. I'm very excited for the for this new challenge. No, but no pain, no gain. So I have to do my best, and I hope that I can get all that I want in this new job. Awesome. And you know, I realize that I I have to. I'm going to work with this guy, mm -hmm. um, uh, this guy that was fancy and so picky. Uh, I can remember his name. Oh my God! Speak of the devil. Is coming. Oh, hi, girls. Oh, hi, Steve. Hi, hi. hi, how are you? <laughs> hi, girls. I'm doing well. And what about you? Do you remember me? Yeah, me of study? course. We remember oh. you. <laughs> of course. What? Uh, how'd you been? Oh, okay. I'm. I have the best, the best job of the world, and I travel everywhere, every every time. <laughs> I know different places, different countries. Uh, I bought this Rolex last 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 week. Really? And... <laughs> <laughs> Um, don't 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 is, oh there are many <laughs> you can say for example something like you know once in a blue moon i travel from uh, here to europe then next week i go to japan just to lunch to have lunch <laughs> <laughs> Has seen magic. <laughs> I launch in in China, and I take my dinner, my dinner, 
in in Japan. Awesome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and and then Dora asked me how I would do, David. Yes. How about you, David? And then I ask you. No, I answer you. Sorry. Uh, well, not so well. I, I don't know. It's okay, but. <laughs> Mm, but... uh, we have we had a meeting with the principal with the principal who was asking us about the teachers they celebration but nobody wants but nobody wants to uh, do anything or going anywhere Going any, 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 where but rest the day, rest instead. We write it and then we <laughs> fix the instructions. Finally, ah. finally, what was this one? We see eye to eye. See eye to eye. Finally, we see eye to eye about going. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. Then I asked uh, Jarvin, mm, 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 mm. how about you, Jarvin? That is my question to Jarvin. Then what's your answer? Everything is okay. And I can okay. see for Dora. Dora, I, I'm so sorry to hear that. But with your experience, it's a piece of cake to sol solve that problem. Speed it is a piece of cake to mm -hmm. solve. It's okay for you to solve the problem with your wire. Okay, to solve the problem with your client. And uh, what about the flu? You, you need to say something about the flu, no, not only the client. Uh, this is for a reason I say is everything is okay. I'm so yes. sorry to hear that. Ah, okay. Forget about about your sickness because. Okay, okay, okay. To be specific with that. And on the other hand. It will be N N with your experience. It will be a piece of K for you to solve the problem with your new clients. 
-hmm. Okay. And Dora, you need to close the conversation. You okay. need to remember another. Uh -huh. Another. What is this idioms? Mm -hmm. What do you say? Uh, but let me see. You do singing close in the conversation. But uh, okay, guys, it's nice to see you. Something like that. Thanks, uh, Jarvin, for your good. For your good expressions, I don't know. But this is the life. I uh, okay. Uh, okay. Jarvin, thanks for your words. That's life. And then, mm -hmm. what else? But, uh, but that's life. Is, this is the life, and no pain, no gain. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> 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 no pain, no <laughs> Excellent. Mm -hmm. And the, the close. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. But uh, uh, nice uh, to see you guys. Okay. Okay. I think we got it. He's jerking, talking. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's see. Let's just wait for the others. Was it easy? Easy, cheesy. <laughs> <clears throat> Many students I have met love idioms. But you know, in reality, in real life, Americans don't use that many idioms, you know. It's not that common to find uh, Americans using idioms. Um, I've talked to some rednecks, <laughs> people living in Texas, you know, farmers, if you want to call them like that, cowboys. Cowboys used to use a lot of idioms. And there's a story. I guess, or somehow I heard once that idioms were invented in Texas by cowboys. And it's like, it, it's like, um, it was like a, some sort of um, way of entertaining themselves on the desert, you know, and, or while they were 
taking care of cows. How, how, do, you, how do you call that? When you have a lot of cows and you're raising cows? We saw that. Cradle. What was it? Gracias. Uh -huh. Cradle, right? What about if, if you have a whole bunch of pigs? Uy. <laughs> That's interesting. But in general, how do you say rebaño? But for pigs, it could be pig farming, maybe. Again, gracias. Uh, for pigs, it could it could be pig farming. Pig farming. Yeah. Farming. Mm -hmm. Or hog farming. Hog farming. Yeah, I heard that before. How do you say gallo in English? Rooster. Rooster. What about gallina? Hen. Hen. Okay. And pollo. Chicken. chicken. Yeah, because many students tend to, to call chicken all kinds of, you know. Ah. <laughs> yeah, animals like. Oh, and pollito, little chicken. <laughs> Chicken little, chicken little. Chicken little. <laughs> like a moon. Oh, my God. Okay, guys. Let me hear your uh, role plays. Get into the character, please. Become the character. So who's going to be first? Should we go in order again? Hey, yeah, please. You teach it. Oh, David. David, you want to start? Yes. Jarvin, Dora, and I. Cool. Whenever you're ready. Okay, let me share Break a leg. My, my screen. It is. Okay, Jervin. Okay. Start, please. I will start. Hey, hello, Dora. How do you feel today? Um, I had a terrible day today. I got a flu and I'm feeling under the weather. And I, I had to meet with a new client with a content document have not been done since 2022. How are you, David? Not so bad. We had a meeting with the principal who was asking us about the Teacher's Day celebration. But nobody wants to do anything or going anywhere but rest instead. Finally, we see eye to eye about the free day. How about you, Jarvin? Everything is okay. Thank you for asking, Davy. And uh, Dora, I'm so sorry to hear about your sickness. And the other hand, with your experience, it will be a piece of cake for you to solve the problem with your new client. Okay, Charby, thank you for your words. That's the lie. No pain, no gain. Nice to see you. Nice. <laughs> okay, it was a pleasure to see you. See you guys. Nice to see you. Bye bye. <laughs> thank you <laughs> hey, that was a good one thank you wow sounds easy okay good job who's next david Me, what? what fernando okay fernando gracias and jose wilfred i think i remember okay whenever you're ready Uh, hey, Fernando, how does this come in? By the way, when are you taking your vacation? Well, maybe when pigs fly. My job is very hard, but you know, the pain away, right? Well, hang in there. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that your vacations are being delayed. Mm, do you plan to do anything special? Um, actually, I would like to kill two bears with one stone by going to the state to visit my relatives and go to Disneyland for the first time. Sounds like a plan. Break a leg. I wish you'd take it along. Oh, have you ever been to the States before? Yes, I have. Well, you can judge a uh, buck by its cover, right? Yeah, maybe we can get together Sunday way on the States. Yeah, but the plane tickets cost an arm and a leg. To add insult to injury, well, I don't have a visa all the time. Oh, it's a shame. Well, we shall call it a day then. Wish all. 
Good to see you. Have fun at Disneyland. Yeah, thank you. Wow, <laughs> that was really good. Great job. Okay, let's call it a day. That's one I kind of used or have used sometimes. I didn't get the one that says tag along. Like come along? You, you should come along with me or do something yeah. together. Yes. Oh, and that, that was very, I mean, every idiom was very well used as well. The other group. Good job. Okay. And last group. Liana. Hello, Ana Claudia. How are you? Hey, Liana. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Congratulations. I heard that you have a new job. Break a leg, Liana. Thank you. I'm, I feel really excited about this new challenge, but you know, no pain, no gain. That's right. That's right. And, yeah. And I realized that I have to work with this guy that we met at college. Um, I think that his name is Luis or Steve, something like that. I, oh my God. Speaking of the dog. Hi, girls. Hi, Steve. Hi. How are you? Do you remember me? Of course. of course, we remember you. How you been? I'm doing well, and I have the best job out around the world because it, I can travel, I can uh, know different places, different countries, different, different cultures, and it's like a piece of cake. Congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations. Actually, I was telling Ana Claudia that I have, I'm going to have the, the opportunity to work uh, in the same company with you. I heard that you're uh, the marketing manager. So I think that you have like the best of both worlds. You know, you can travel and you can do a lot of things at the same time. <laughs> I yes. heard that you're tra uh, traveling next week, Luis. I I I can I can travel. Uh, I can take my my brown my lunch uh, in in China, and then I can take my dinner in Japan. Oh. Yes, recently I, I I bought this new Rolex, and I spent a lot of money, but it's it's not it's not a problem to me. Oh, you. That's awesome. <laughs> That's nice to see you, Steve. So maybe nice one day we can you. say once in a blue moon, Eliana and I wow. we travel and have dinner in Europe, and then oh. we have breakfast in Greek. I don't know. <laughs> maybe someday. <laughs> okay. Well, it was nice to see you guys. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Take too. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. bye. Hey, good job. Just one thing, Greek is Grace. Right? I'm sorry, Grace. Greece. Greece. Wait a minute, Greece. Greek. I say Greek. Wait a minute. Is it Greece? Greek, Greece, Greece. Greek. That's I it. See. But I don't know. Let me check a look right now. Yeah, to find out. I, I can the pronunciation. It's Greece. G-R-E-E-C-E, -E -E, I think. Greece. Uh, like that's what I think. Yeah, that's the way. I'm Grecia. right. Grecia. Grecia. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, it's Greece. Greece. Okay. Uh, Greece. Greece. Got it. Greek is like the language they speak, right? Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Or the gentilism as well. Mm. Or the way? The gentilism. The like gentilism is spelled. That's right. Mm -hmm. Gentilism. Gentilism. Okay. <laughs> I like that word. <laughs> you know, they, they were. Commonly work... used. Uh huh. No, it's not commonly used. Yeah, actually, in Twitter, on Twitter, sorry, on Twitter, on Twitter. Was, as we became popular, uh, many uh, British and Americans were con calling us 
El Salvadorian people. So I was like, El Salvadorian. Yeah, El Salvadorian people are very. So what's the right gentilism for El Salvador? Salvadorian. 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 That's right. Salvadorians. Forget about the article when you use the gentilism. And I corrected el, someone. El. And they, people don't like to get corrected on Twitter. You know, yes. grammar, grammarly speaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tonight, we got to talk about what scaling a social business idea is about. Scaling a social business idea. What's scaling, guys? Anybody? What's scaling? Taking it, uh -huh, taking it to another scale, either uh, bigger or smaller. It depend, can you, so it refers to going smaller too? Yeah, scale up or scale down. Oh, okay. Scaling down, scaling down. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so growing is a synonym for growing, let's say. Okay. What comes to your mind? Um, Ileana, if you hear that word, that term, scaling. When I hear scaling, it comes to my mind something like you start like this and yeah you grow that idea that business that something that you want that you start like small and you want to that idea maybe in the future could be bigger so yeah yeah something like like grass said exactly it's like growing your business on on scale but i think based on what i have been reading is it's like all at the same time uh, every business starts from scratch, right? I mean, you have no profit at least for a year. If you really want to keep going with the business, there's no profit for a year, a year and a half. And if you're lucky, if you're lucky, you may have, uh, you may see profit in six months. And there are, do you think there are secure businesses? It's like you're going to invest and, and, and there's a business model that will definitely secure your return of investment, right? Do you think there's a business like that? People say, yes, I don't know. Name a business. <clears throat> I mean that yeah, anywhere in the in the world it will make money. Mm -hmm. Any what? Anywhere in the world, uh huh, it will make money. A pupusería? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, if the pupusas are good. I think when you we're know. talking about food, uh huh, who has the best ROI return of investment? Food. Uh huh. But. I don't know. As you mentioned before, it depends on the quality of the product. You know what? I, I was double thinking on that uh, because I have tried some pupusas here close to close to uh, my house. I don't know if you know the, the... Do you hear that noise? I'm sorry? No. No? Okay. No. My wife... Somebody... Yeah, my wife. No, <laughs> I miss, is just <laughs> chopping some vegetables with the blender. Ah, um, okay. No, but do you know Centro Comercial Andromeda? No? no. In La Constitución? No, not at all. Okay, but the thing is that there is a pupuseria that has always been there. There was We have been living here for 12 years already in the house. And um, I, I bought pupuses there once. I didn't like them many years ago recently we stopped there again and it was like okay let's buy there you know uh, the, the place where we usually buy pupusas i wanted to try something different and it's always crowded that's funny 
the place is always crowded because it's on the street. It's on the parking lot of the of the mall. The thing is that they are still the same quality. You know, bad quality. So why is it that it's always crowded? Hmm. <laughs> that makes you maybe because they are on the road. Oh, sorry. Maybe closet? because they are on the road and they are the only option available. Mm, do, do you remember yes. that part of marketing on intermediate where you talked about a business plan and and um, location was one of the factors that you had to consider to launch a product. So I always then I thought I'm gonna start paying attention to who is sitting there. And I noticed I didn't see a new face. I mean, I didn't see the same face again. I haven't seen a new, uh, the same face again. It's always new people trying the pupusas. You know, going by, going by. The only guy who is always there is a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> He's always there eating pupusas because they give him food. And that's funny, you know. But that that's as impressive. I mean, so... Talking about scaling a, a, a business, going back to the idea, return of investment. I do have a business uh, that gives me very good results, but I have to be patient. And, and it's, uh, it's a blessing, actually. I have a neighbor who brings cars, and he does that with me. I mean, we, we, we bring one car, one car every month or every two months. But he has the knowledge, let's say, of the market, and he knows mm -hmm. which car and under which conditions to get the car from the bid, right? The bid, uh, yeah, live bids. So he gets the car and he knows for sure that he's going to sell it, making um, a profit of a thousand dollars, let's say, and then we split it on two. You see, and it works. But he doesn't do that with a lot of people. I mean, he has, this guy is crazy. You know, he has like three businesses. He sells hamburgers. That's the latest business, a restaurant that he's starting up. He imports cars and repairs them by himself out of his house. One car per month. That's his rule. He has a workshop as well and some employees. So there are three businesses. And the other one, you won't believe it. He sells candies for cakes, for birthday cakes, for example, the candy that you put the, the candle of candy and everything. That's what they do. It, essentially, that's like the family business. The mother is a little bit older, but she's always going around, coming and going with, with the little candies. And they are not rich, you know, but, but I like the fact that he doesn't stop. This guy wakes up at 6 a.m. and he runs to the business, any of the businesses. Um, and I see him at about 11 p.m. going back into his house. On Sunday, he disappears. He goes to the beach with his uh, girlfriend or fiance. I don't know anymore. But the thing is that every Sunday he's lost. He, he turns off the cell phone and he's lost. That's a good way of living, don't you think? Staying busy all the time. So, return of investment, that's good. How do you scale? I asked him once, how will you scale your, your business? And he was like, which one? <laughs> right? I mean, logically, if you wanted to scale importing cards, he will get other associates, you know, and start bringing more cars and selling more cars. That's more difficult. Too much trouble. Um, I talked to him about the restaurant. He likes cooking. So he said, I may get more employees, you know. But first, I want to develop my, my expertise. I want to become an expert on cooking and then move on. And so scaling um, um, a business when you already have the business going, running, it's not easy because you you not only need money, but also you need, um, um, let's say, 
the right contacts, I will say, because it's not just about paying someone to train your personal, but you need to know what you're training them on and so on. So on page 21, I think it is, hold on. There's the topic where we have to talk about tonight. Analyzing the scaling barriers successful social enterprises have been gone through. Okay, I need someone to read. Me, if you want, let's start. Sure, let's go. Okay. Do you agree with the quote by how until where I'm going to read? The whole thing. Ah, okay. Do you agree with the quote by Red Hoffman, founder of LinkedIn? I thought that was a, a one word, LinkedIn. Okay. It is. Ah, so I mean, on pronunciation, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, is the correct way to write it separate? No, no, I, I have seen it hyphenated. Ah, okay. Hyphenated. Okay, LinkedIn. <laughs> Okay, do you agree with the quote by Reid Hoffman, founder of LinkedIn, about scaling a business idea? Do you agree with the follow-up comment? A first mover is not the first one to launch, it's the first one to scale. Anyone can have a bright idea at his or her computer or social innovation bootcamp. Inventing stuff is the easy part. There is no shortage of great ideas. Developing channels to the people who need the service on a mass scale and normalizing it now, that's the really difficult bit. Good. Quote. Quote. Okay. Quote. Quote. Shortage. 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 It was yesterday. Shortage. Uh -huh. Shortage. Believe I was practicing yesterday were a shit. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shortage. Okay, shortage. That's good. Um, thank you. Out of all these texts, these words, uh, what gives you the sense of or the idea of being the definition of scaling among this excerpt? Where is the definition of scaling? For me, scaling is, uh, I remember when I study, I was studying at the university, my profession is like uh, interior design. So you needed to draw some plans, but there, there were pieces that they were on a different scale. I don't know if this is the same meaning that you, uh, in my uh, at that time, I needed to draw a house or a building on a scale, but that was the final product on a different scale than mm -hmm. the real one. And I don't know if this is something that similar that you are like picturing the business mm -hmm. on a scale, like the final product. I don't know if that is uh, the meaning. Uh, it's the same term, I think, but in different contexts. As Gracia mentioned, uh, you can scale down, scale up, um, okay. right? Or scale um, a drawing. My kids studying um, drawing at Senar, as I told you, but and he likes to scale their, their his um, drawings. There's mm -hmm. one actually on exhibition right now at at Senar. Mm, awesome. And he he's good. I mean, he's left-handed. Mm. I like that. I love that. The fact that he's left-handed. He must uh, be very smart. <laughs> it was very funny because we discovered this when he was like three years old. He was um, helping me with a bottle, trying to open a bottle, and he had struggled with his right hand for a long time. And I saw him looking at the bottle because he wanted to drink a juice. And I told him, I'm not going to help you. You have to open it. He thought he used the other hand and he opened it. Mm. Ever since then, he started using his left hand for everything. And I was like, you're left-handed. I can't believe it. That was mm. so funny. Okay. 
So among this excerpt, where is the definition? Where can you find a definition for scaling? On the last sentence, maybe? Go, uh -huh. Go ahead, read it. Developing channels to the people who need the service on a mass scale and normalizing it. Now that's the really difficult part. Bit. That's a really difficult bit. Byte. That sounds like they wanted to use byte. The difficult byte. Difficult part byte. I don't know. Okay. Developing channels to the people who need the service on a mass scale and normalizing it. I was raised in Santa Ana. Uh, I believe I was born in Santa Ana too. Yeah. Yeah, I was born in Santa Ana. But then we moved. And when I was seven, my parents got divorced. My mother immigrated to the States and we lost contact. My father raised me along with my um, grandma, rest in peace, and I was raised in Santana. All this context, because I used to sell bread and tortillas right when I was a kid, and my grandma used to send us to the bakery very early in the morning at about 5 a.m. with two sacks, or four sacks actually, four sacks, two on each arm. Man, that I loved the smell of fresh bread. And that bakery is still there. If you ever go to Santa Ana, look for Panaderia Los Eduardos. Panaderia Los Eduardos. Where is it located? I live in Santa Ana. Are you kidding me? It's true. It's close to La Despensa de Don Juan. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. If you go that, that I don't know the street names anymore. But if you go down on that road, it's a, you try to take the second right after the light. After, after the light, huh? After the light, and you keep going down, and then the, the second turn to the right. There's Or just Google it, you know, put ways, and you will find it. <laughs> but, okay. man, the bread used to be delicious, um, especially... Um, the 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 the, the, the pastry pastry uh, some sort of pastry they they still do la niña root the thing is that is the only branch and it's better than la rosario i have to say it i haven't found any other bakery better than that not even la tecleña i'm really sorry but that bread is really good i have found a similar one here in San Salvador. Um, it's called Doña Tere. No? No idea? No? Okay. So, the thing is that they only have one branch. And once I told the owner, hey, you know what? Uh, why don't you open more branches of your bakery? They were like, no, this is enough. You know, nobody wants to continue with the business. The kids don't want to continue with the family's business. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe my ears. You know, oh, I was so shocking. So, and this is the reason, because one thing is to start a business, keep going with it. Let's picture it, picture it. You have your business, you have five years running the business, going to La Tiendona to bring vegetables and find things cheaper. And after five years, you already know after five years, you get the know-how. You know about that, right? Remember the know-how, how to do the business. But what's next? You never wonder what is next. You don't want to know what is next. You don't know how to take the next step. Well, the next step is normalizing it. Give the service on a mass scale and normalize it. A clear example, la tecleña, right? Have you noticed in the last, what, three years? Do you have a tecleña near to you? Yes. <laughs> or yes. Panadería Lilian? Yes. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know what's very impressive about Panaderia Lilian? You may find the little uh, pictures on their branches, on this the the story of how it started, what year they started, and they started very early in 1960, I think, something like that. And they brag about it, but I never heard of them before. Have it? Have you? Heard about Panadera Lilian before? Uh, yes, I because I know the the owners. Oh, you met they them? Are... Yes. Hmm. Be careful. Do you know them or do you met them? Did you met them? I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know what is. <laughs> Think about it. If you meet someone, I, I just met you. I mean. I met Ileana, I met Ileana in my classes, you know, but I don't know her. I don't know her, I don't know what's her, well, I, don't, I know her last names. I don't know if she's married, if she has kids or what, you know, that's knowing someone. Yes, I, I, I know them, they are from okay. Chalate, from La Nueva. Right. They live near my house about uh, five blocks. Wow. Something like that. And, and uh, Niña Lilian is still alive? Yes, yes, she's still alive, but this is some, some, uh, this has some six in her body. Oh. But uh, the, the, the children is now the, the son of the, the girls and one boy uh -huh. are in charge of business. The they kids are now in charge. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, there are uh, adults. So yeah, there, but they are the 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 son of this couple. Of, mm -hmm. uh, so that most likely they were the ones with the idea of growing. Yes, they they started in, in La Nueva many many years ago. They, they doing the bread. The the man was a a, a tailor. Is the, the native who made pens. Okay, a tail yeah, tailor uh, create yeah. confectionates yeah, something like that. Yes, clothes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, they, they was and then they start trying to to do bread, and uh, they they starting with bread. Uh, in uh, many years, they then the first step was going to Chalate from La Nueva to Chalate. Then uh, uh, Aguilares. In uh, Santa Tecla. Wait, but are they doing? Um, uh, are they doing franchises? Are those? Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. Oh. They are selling French. Now let's go that route. Do you think scaling is part of that decision? Is like growing by your own, or doing franchises, becoming a, a getting franchises? Yes, this is this uh, something like scale because uh, they are well known. Uh, they have many, many. They have now in Metapan. They have in Santana. They have. Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait! Santa Ana, please. Santa Ana. Yeah, Santana is the guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I Santa. know. I hate that. <laughs> I, I I I am from Santa Ana too. I am. I, I was born in, in Metapan. I lived in Santa Ana. Mm. Some years I was to harvest coffee in the volcano of Santa Ana. Really? For six years. Yes. <laughs> I have a, a a degree in harvesting coffee. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was about from, to ask. From, where from, did you get from it? From eleven to seventeen, I was harvesting wow. coffee to pay my my education. Wow. And, and uh, uh, I, I know I walk through all of the Santa Ana. I, I went to watch a Phantom to the Paradise to the, the Cana. <laughs> wow. Amazing. I, I, I don't know no, what the Cana was the principal that is a, a used. A, a, Go with the opening of the of the theater in the in the in the morning, mm -hmm. and you can stay <laughs> until they close. <laughs> I remember and, and then, that. 
and, and they, they were uh, uh, projecting three movies mm -hmm. all day. You know so what? I wish I wish they could someone could have this idea of bringing um how do you call that motor motorized theaters? Is that the way motorized theaters or parking lot theaters? Mm -hmm. Like in the movies, you know, you park mm -hmm. your car there and yes, then yes, yes. you watch Auto the cinemas? movie. Auto cinema, yeah. Auto cinema, that's the name. Yeah. Auto cinema. So Okay, let, going back to this, <laughs> I like this this quote. Anyone can have a bright idea at his or her computer or social innovation bootcamp. But the problem is, uh, as I told you before, right, sticking to the idea and making it come true. That's, <laughs> it's a hell if you, you don't know what you're doing. So what do you think? There is a, a phrase that says that everybody in the world has a, at least an idea. It is is a, a valuing million of dollars, but there is only a few that put in action. A one percent of of human population is able to achieve success in their lives, and that's because we don't, you know, we don't take the gods and or gods and do do what we have to do a first mover is not the first one to launch it's the first one to scale a first mover is not the first one to launch it's the first one to scale okay i have another one for you which is on your lesson plan for tonight and a definition of scaling a definition of scaling, and this will be on your chat here on the session, on the Zoom session. The most effective and efficient way to increase a social enterprise, a social enterprise's social impact based on its operational model to satisfy the demand for relevant products and or services. So if you're able to satisfy a need in society, you have a successful business. So the best way to start up should be thinking, what need am I covering? Focusing your product idea, not from the product ex itself, not just because you love the taste or the shape or how cheap it is or how good it looks. No, you have to base your planning all your efforts must be oriented to satisfying a need. One more example. I love this lady. Um, I don't know if you know San Salvador, but there is a, how can I call this? When you go through, La, from La Chulona, going up through La San Antonio Abad, and then you raise this roundabout to reach that roundabout that connects to latest, you know, a very new street. The thing is that there's a lady, an old lady in the corner with a huacal selling chocolate, handmade chocolate. And it's delicious. And it's $1, you know, it's a big pill, you know, let's say a big pill, a chocolate pill. And every time I run by that street, I must stop. And she's always there. But typically, she's missing only three or four chocolates that she hasn't sold. And I always wonder, you know, if she gets there with her wakal fulfilled with chocolate, and at the end of the day, she runs out of it, out of her product. And the key is that it's delicious. It's well done. So she's satisfying a need. She's standing on a very critical location. There's a lot of cars stopping there, you know. So, scaling. Most likely she started with a smaller wakali and now she's selling more. <laughs> That's scaling for her. I don't know. Could you scale a business like that? Uh, I know a woman from uh, here's a tecla that start selling 
a told the lot. I don't know how to say that in English. That's the way. And they uh, went all, all of the streets, all of the you know the streets, all of the col the the, the corn atolle neighbor here. And uh -huh. at the end, now they like you said, start that they put uh, here. Uh, here a business in a in a in a corner, and there are many 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 people. And uh, when when they arrive to the business, uh, full the is crowded, and uh, he sell everything in about two three hours. He starts selling at one p.m. one p.m. and at, at four p.m. <laughs> There's nothing. There, 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 There's there nothing else. Yes, yes. There's no nothing. tamales, Left. no lotes, no atol, nothing. I, I met a place like that here near to La Ceiba. How do you call this place? El Arbol de la Paz. Near to Estadio Cujatlán. There was a chilateria. It was always crowded. I don't know why they removed it. Is that maybe they ran out of business. I don't know, but they took it off. So we have to go online and find these um, key terms related to scaling a business idea, launch, inclusive market approach, ecosystem scaling barriers, and subsidize. And just explain it to the class. It's just four terms. So I'm just going to split you with, in two groups, just two groups. Because not everybody is participating. Many of you are working, and I totally understand that. What I said is because I had to say it, you know. I was told I should say it. But don't take it personal. I do understand that some of you have to work, and it is what it is. It is what it is. Thank God, as Steve was is on vacation. You're on vacations, right, Steve? He mentioned it. So. No, no. The on the next week. Uh huh. I'm going to. Oh yeah, you're you're during a pause. During a pause right now about the project. You're done with your job. Let's say. Okay. Okay. Right. Is okay. that right? Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's very efficient. He finished his job beforehand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, page twenty-one, exercise seven. Is it? No, exercise two, page 21. So let's go. It's just going to be two groups. Please practice with your classmates, understanding these key terms. Let's go. David, you're in both groups. There you go. Sorry, guys, I'm going to stand up for a minute for a cup of water, okay? Okay. <laughs> Give me a minute, please. I'll come back. Uh, the four words that we're supposed to, or the four phrases that we're supposed to work on are launch, inclusive market approach, ecosystem scaling barriers, and subsidize. About launch, I found a definition that says the process by which a new product is introduced into the market for initial sale. Have you found uh, anything? Hi, which page is 20? 21. 21, right? 21. Oh, okay. 20, 20. Oh, I 
like another definition. I just found it says, uh, business coordinated and planned effort to debut a new product to the market and make that product available. What definition, sir? Launch. Uh, businesses plan and coordinated effort to debut a new product to the market and make that product generally uh, available for purchase. So that, that's a uh, definition I found for launch. Mm Mm -hmm. So have you found another definition? No, I have the same definition. Oh, okay. So it's just pretty much like preparing something and then and like placing it, uh, be, making it available. Oh. Inclusive market approach. The only thing I found is an approach that acknowledges that development needs time and a deep understanding of social, cultural, political, and financial dynamics. Mm, found... uh -huh. What did you find? Inclusive market systems or with that with that point of view that to approach to to this part of the to be inclusive so that are those that engage and benefit a range of actors including the poor women youth ethnic minorities and or other marginalized groups who that is the are definition. Often excluded from that is the definition we need it is the, the, the approach to the what do you read? Okay, so approach of something, just to say, you mentioned something at the beginning. Market approach, uh, I'm going to just paste. Can, can you write what you read in the, in the chat? Ileana? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm in this one. That is a, a good definition. Hmm. It is the perspective that we are looking for. Hmm. Engagement benefit. A range of actors, including the mm -hmm. uh, okay. Inclusive market tools that engage and benefit a range of actors, including poor until mm -hmm. now it got it. Other markets for a system. You part of okay. to understand the concept, right? And to apply them correctly in the next. Okay. Just then, explain the concept in your own words. Exactly. What about the next concept: ecosystem scaling back. Okay. Ecosystem scaling back. Mm 
system scanning program. Did you find something? Because I'm trying, but it's just mm -hmm. taking me to ecological concept. Mm -hmm. The system. Mm -hmm. It is also to, to uh, add to the previous definition, inclusive market. Mm -hmm. I guess it's the same. And the other one is, you said, uh, we're looking now for ecosystem scaling barriers. Exactly, that is what we're looking for. And but it's just we're finding uh, ecological meanings. Yes, because it's uh, something that the companies need to mm -hmm. think in how to to increase his action or his function without the. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, without uh, affecting the uh, ecosystems. Mm -hmm. uh, In ecology, scale is a metric that describes the spatialism and temporal dimension mm -hmm. of an object, pattern, or process. No, no, no. Mm. But seeing the previous the previous meanings we have from approach is something like yes so maybe because what the meaning it says so is if the preview was the preview one the previous one is including different uh people like words and stuff like that maybe this one is uh considering also uh, ecosystems right like nature the seas land i don't know water the land Mm -hmm. The trees, the habitat for the fauna. Mm -hmm. Because we are not finding like the exact meaning, but yes. ecosystem scaling. Uh -huh. mm. It's like to create something for long duration of the natural resources. So it's like respecting, I guess, including the, um, the natural resources. Because they, I, I couldn't find a, a complete definition in here. Mm -hmm. Do you try breaking it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you try break, Very, breaking the words just scaling? Yeah. Looks only for 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 uh, barriers. Okay. And and then the barriers will give us the the barriers the, uh, will give you an idea. Mm -hmm. But an ecosystem scaling makes you think of for example the woods or a forest growing mm -hmm. what doesn't what what stop what stops uh, a forest from growing human mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
we 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 we're stopping um, ecosystems from growing. That we could be a uh... okay. I, I was looking in the wrong direction because this uh, barriers to the ecosystem can scale. Barriers to the ecosystem can scale, or is that the ecosystem barrier for companies can scale? Because is that the, the way that I see it? Mm. How well, could be both. It could be both, definitely. Let me see how the, the other group is doing. Yeah, it, just let us know what you have found. Okay, I believe they, they did find it. And we'll be able to explain it as well. Let We will discuss it in the class, okay? Okay. okay. I didn't find ecosystem is getting barriers. You're having the same problem. Break it, break it down. Like ecosystem scaling. Just the, these two words, ecosystem scaling. Uh, understanding what is an ecosystem, could it be a forest? Yeah, like the environment, right? Uh huh. It has to do with the environment. So, a barrier for an ecosystem to scale or to grow is? The availability of uh, natural resources? Yeah. Human. Right? Yeah. We don't let them grow. We don't let the forests grow. We are actually um, ending with it. I have seen some images. I don't know you, but there was even a time lapse of, of Amazonas. Oh, my God. It's so sad. So I think it's, it, it's taking that direction, you know, that term. Okay. Okay, so you're missing one, two. Okay. Just develop the idea about ecosystem scaling barriers. Scaling. System scale. Ecosystem Maybe we can use this part. And last the species that will be human, then pollution, then fragmentation, which uh, uh, develop climate change, mm -hmm. then land use change, and habitats are lost. Those are barriers for ecosystem scaling. Then the cycle begins once again. Um, to buy mm -hmm. and the company uh, assume or I don't know another way to say this they paid that subsidy uh -huh. they, yeah the company paid a part of the of the total mm -hmm. of, the, of, the, of the equipment mm -hmm. and the customer just paid a, a the other part that is later than Okay. And I, I see that in that way, I see that like a strategy. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's not just because I want to give you something because I have the money. No, it's just in businesses, I think it's part of the strategy of the companies. Yeah, but in, in our case, the customers, they need, they must agree that if they accept that subsidy of the for those $20 payment for the service of the dash cam, so whenever the insurance company is required to get any video or stuff like that, they must provide it. Mm -hmm. So they must have access. Okay, so something, sorry, sorry. 
No, it's okay. I, I, I found something in, in uh, there is something that uh, like uh, institutions like uh, Santillana speaks, mm -hmm. uh, they apply the ecosystem not only to uh, nature, but only the way that they are working on. And uh, that was the definition that I was found. Uh, an ecosystem and the importance of the idea. I'm ah, sorry, I didn't send it. <laughs> ah, it's okay. <laughs> Forget my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, the, the, the whole system of the working of a company is named ecosystem in the, in the, the this was something that about uh, two or three previous years that uh, Santillana work now in an ecosystem. They they name in that way, and they present in that way. This is our ecosystem, and uh, I, I don't know if I started it to 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 uh, may look the the like they are uh, dealing with the environment because they are selling books not in the in the printing but in the digital mood and maybe for that reason is uh, they are uh, oh, I don't know but it's it's the name and uh, I remember now about that uh, and they, this uh, page is, is speaking about that the importance of well functioning functioning scale up ecosystem Okay. And uh, there is the, the beginning, I, I will copy and send it to you. You are the expert in business and you are analyzing all the, all the information. The purpose of function is the systems, start initiated by Deloitte and conducted by Many starts and struggles to survive and grow to scale up on any portion of you. Style within four years after conception, scale ups are in need of a well functioning scale up system to help them overcome the difficulties well this of the phase and scaling up an organization and maintaining high levels of growth. Therefore, the light and Erasmus conducted research and scale up system with a zoom in on the mobility ecosystem. It looks great, that concept. Mm -hmm. But I think I you understand better the idea. So you are the chosen one to explain that concept. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to give you the, the opportunity to explain that concept. I can explain it, but nobody understood me, but it's no problem. <laughs> I remember it. If, I, 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 I think that, that with the information that all the groups uh, <laughs> Are going to provide maybe we can understand better the the, the concept. Okay. But you are the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that maybe to to participate, Dora can explain about the subsidizing. Yes, yes, that is um, okay. Anna Claudia. We are ready. And maybe with launch, if you it's okay for you. Yeah, it's okay. And I can explain very quickly the inclusive market approach. Okay. Right. We're okay, done. We're, okay, we're done. We're ready. Yes. Did you work today? Me? Oh, yes, of course, every day. <laughs> What's your day off? Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my God. My heart in you. <laughs> it's heartbreaking for me. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wait, but how many hours do you work from Monday through Friday? Uh, I nine? work nine hours from Monday through Thursday and just Friday work eight hours, but I got used to it. So I prefer that than working 
few hours on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I, I got used to it for f almost five years when I worked there. It was good. Yeah. You, know, you know what it was awesome? Uh -huh. Christmas parties. Oh, yes, yes. It was amazing. But in that time, right now, I guess, well, I have like, uh, wow. Well, Did you have a Christmas year. party last year? Oh, yes, they have, but the last two or three Christmas parties, it was a group crowd of people. So, because too many employees, like around. Oh. Yeah. Thousand, I guess there was a year that they were making all this Christmas party, a uh, one party by a town, separate, different places. I think that was better, but then at the end, people uh, they decide to make a one. There were two years in the pandemic where we had a virtual Christmas party. With, no yeah, way. Me, there was a Zoom link and you just get connect. And there were a lot of, um, I have your name is Rifas, I don't remember. Ruffles. Oh, Ruffles, okay. A lot okay. of Ruffles, yeah. Good prices, by the way. Yes. Because they didn't spend money in the days, food, stuff like that. So they... Not turkey. No mm -hmm. gift cards, I know. Exactly. Okay, a topic for the 10 minutes later. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's find the first definition. Who can throw it? Who wants to go for it? Let me see, because I, we, I split you on two groups. Uh, let me see. Uh, Fernando, Gracia, Jose Wilfredo, Luis, uh, Wendy, and William were on the first group. And the first definition we need to talk about is lounge. Who wants to do it? Lounge. Of course, that, at least that term, should be going related to a business, right? Lounge of a business. Go ahead. Just one. The process to put in. Any group. You go ahead and go. No, we were discussing that lounge is to put like a product and launch it to the market, present it, or. Uh, the first time. Mm -hmm. the, for the first time. That's why. I, you know, I I lost the, the meaning we growth. <laughs> I'm just recalling what we were discussing. A, a whole strategy, uh, uh, a step, a uh, uh, series of steps that uh, to put in, a, to do in the launch. Exactly. Of the product. Thank you. Yes, that was thank you, Liam. Uh, launch is the process by which a new product is introduced into the market for initial sale. That is what we found. Okay, for mm -hmm. the initial sale. So the mm -hmm. first time it goes into the market. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you remember that happening to any familiar product? Yeah, when to all the products we know are now in the market. <laughs> no, but you haven't be, been conscious that a product was going to be launched. That's what I mean, because it's common for me to go to the supermarket and find a new shampoo brands, new coffee brands, a new Danny product. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, that... man, it's so funny. No, there's coffee, there's rice, there are beans, there's oil. Oh my Everything God. Everything is being Danny. Huh? Not Pampers. For example, <laughs> for, example, uh, for example, with these, uh, Apple with the iPhone. Oh yes. Every every year launch a new model, you know. They it. launch every year mm -hmm. a new model, it's true. Hmm. And they do like a huge thing and the marketing strategy they for the launch of new products. Exactly, you're right. It's this private event that we show you the specific the specification and it, this is the best and the new and the you are cool if you have the the decide yeah. you know, that effort like that it's money that it's a lot of things high prices for those products i'm sorry but i haven't used none of those products i i don't know if i'm you cannot uh, i'm sorry 
No, you no. cannot. That's unethical for you. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> that would be unethical. My brother works for another company that doesn't produce Coca-Cola. What's the other name? The uh, the Constancia, right? Uh huh. Okay, so he he it is prohibited to get oh, into his on. house. You cannot get into my brother's house with a Coke. Oh come on! A Pepsi, but that yes. is a, yeah, that is your private life. No, in in my account, a lot of my, no, but a lot of in, a lot of my colleagues they <laughs> mostly use iPhone products. I don't use it because I'm not. I don't want to pay a lot of money for something that <laughs> just used to call in my agenda and. No, out. but you cannot get into the building with an iMac. I bet you. That's not I'm possible. Not. People now get into the building with Oh, your my building. God. Things yes, have changed so much. Exactly. Because Can... now the production area, the production area, they are so isolated in a different way. Yeah. So back in the days, I couldn't speak Spanish in the building. Oh, I remember those days. I remember those days. But that was at the very beginning. Yeah. Okay, so that was a lounge. What goes next? Second term, inclusive market approach. I would like to hear Gracia talking about that. I don't know. So what we found with uh, the group is mm -hmm. that it could be an approach based on the assumption that in order for people to build sustainable livelihoods, uh, then they should have available opportunities in the market. Uh, either self-employment or uh, employed people, and they should also have the skills necessary to meet the, the market needs. So uh, it's like looking for the benefits of the society. Like I'm going to make a business in order for the society or the people to be benefited. Inclusive market approach. Hmm. It's just there are different ways of seeing things, right? Because again, you can think about the company itself making uh, the market inclusive or a product uh, that will reach just or could be used by anybody. We anybody have, could use the product. Yeah. We have another definition mm -hmm. to share with you. Um, inclusive market approach or inclusive market are those that engage and benefit a range of actors, including women, youth, ethnic minorities, and or the and or other marginalized groups who are often excluded from traditional market systems. Like we saw on David's example, on, on you guys' example, right? The Indian Bank. Mm -hmm. That's the best example we have found. Okay. Now then for the next term, you all both groups were not finding a clear definition, ecosystem scaling barriers. I, I think we do, teacher. Mm -hmm. I think we do because this uh, uh, definition says the five fears. What is scale up? Scale up is a company that is, has placed the stage of startup and is growing at a, a high rates. And uh, then says that many startups struggle to survive and grow into scale ups. About 90% of young firms die within five years after conception. Scale, scale ups are in need of a well functioning scale up ecosystem to help them overcome the difficulties. And then the, this step of this uh, period, they call it the valley of death. Yes, faces with when scaling up an organization and maintaining high levels of growth. And there are two organizations, Deloitte and Erasmus Center, Mm -hmm. For entrepreneurship that conduct the research on a scale up ecosystem. Hmm. And uh, uh, they define that ecosystem like that. The idea of an ecosystem is that entrepreneurship and company growth is a collective achievement of a set of interdependent actors and factors. 
Ideally, components and actors benefit from and contribute to the ecosystem. By exchanging, and for that reason is the name of ecosystem, because exchange and share various kind of resources and human intellectual and relational capital. This system is characterized by an dependent on access to market related and supporting industries, talent, and knowledge, and capital. That is teacher. And uh, the ecosystem is the, the, the interaction of many elements that uh, it led the opportunity to survive to the startup company that in the other way, they die. Otherwise, they die. Otherwise. Otherwise, yes. So uh, I feel more like ecosystem is, is perceived on, on this. Thank you. That, that was amazing, actually. Is perceived like like a plan, like yes. an environment where they operate. Exactly. Ecosystem. The ecosystem is the market where they operate. Hmm. Is that the idea that they are presenting us? That, that sounds really interesting, actually. And the last term was subsidize. Subsidize? Subsidize? Yes. Subsidize? Yeah. Subsidize. Okay, somebody who hasn't talked. Thank you, David. Me, teacher. Okay. Succeed a direct or indirect payment to individuals or firms, usually in the form of a cash payment from the government or a targeted tax good. Hmm. Which is why the public transportation, I mean, I'm sorry, the public transportation that we have um, gets from the government, right? Right. Can only governments subsidize companies? No, no, the government. Hmm. Mm, I wonder if social entrepreneurs or social companies are subsidized by other means. If that is considered subsidized, and you know, like when you have fun, people funding you, companies giving you funds, no, that's different, right? Those. Hmm. I I I mentioned to to my classmates that in my company where I work, uh, we have like something like that, and and it's called subsidized that the company pays a part of the, for example, for a cell phone, that uh, oh, true. Uh -huh. and the customer or the client, the potential client, uh, uh, pay just a part of the of the equipment. Mm -hmm. And I I told uh, to, to David, Dora, and, and Anna Claudia that in, in, from my point of view, I saw that like part of the strategy of the company is to be like more attractive. And I can give you this, but for example, you can, um, you can, or you need to, I don't know, if you, if the client just wants five lines with the equipment, yeah, I can subsidize you this part, uh, but for 15 lines, for example. And yeah, it's, it's kind of win-win and it's attractive for, for the client sometimes. Yeah, we use that in in the sales department. And then that that's the way I haven't I haven't paid a cell phone bill for. Oh my god! Now that I think of it, like ten years. I mean, a real cell phone bill because uh, I'm on the payroll on another company. You know, like the same way they they always get a plan for all of us, family members and 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 employees on that company where my, my wife works. And so I'm part of the of that payroll, let's say. And and I get the benefit of, of having a cell phone. So she she gets like five lines every time we renew contract. And um it's it's a lot better. I, I can I, I try to figure out how how people do it nowadays, you know, to pay for saldo <laughs> to have data on their cell phones every day it's it's, uh, it's a struggle i think it's a struggle because 
I think I think you pay a dollar, right? And at the end of the day, you you don't have any more data, or it's gonna be really annoying. Okay, guys. Uh, so tonight I'm staying with David for ten. No, was it? Yeah, David for ten minutes, and tomorrow we will see each other again. Tomorrow is Thursday, right? Or Monday? <laughs> I hate this schedule. I'm sorry. I don't like this schedule. It's terrible. Anyways. Tomorrow is Teacher's Day. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow in advance. Day. Tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. We can thank give you. a day off, teacher. And exactly. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we will have classes. Yeah, but if the plan changes, um, they will let you know through the chat. So keep an eye on your WhatsApp. Okay, guys, okay. thank you for staying with me. And if tomorrow we have class, I invite you to come to the class again. Prepare to participate. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velázquez. Present and good night. Bye-bye. Good night. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. And goodbye. Thank you. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Good night. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Okay. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Yes. Thank you. Good night. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Jose Osvin Rivas Navas. Here tonight, okay. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good night. Juan Miguel Bran Mejia. <clears throat> Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher, night night. Night night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, guys. Okay, David, let's see. I did something with Steve Rogers yesterday on our 10 minutes class. And I think it was a great way of accelerating or working on your speaking. And if you noticed, I actually sent a video about it. I, I saw the video, yes. <laughs> It's something. It's a. This is an Indian guy, but uh, it's, it's, it's. It's very clear what he says, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a great technique, you know, and it works. In my experience, it has worked for many students. When you want to improve, yeah, but he's he misses something. That technique is missing something that is critical, and that's recording yourself at the end and listening to yourself. Just remember that if you record yourself, once you gain confidence, when you once you become confident about your speaking, record yourself, listen to yourself. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a topic. And this is a, a part of an interview. Uh, it's called brain teasers. Brain teasers are questions that make you think a lot. Okay. So I'm going to say something like, tell me about, and I will give you the word. And you have 30 seconds on the screen to talk about that thing. You cannot stop talking, okay? Okay. So easy. Ready? Yes. Let's give it the first try. The first word is rocks. Talk to me about rocks. Okay, rocks are uh, the foundation of the building, the foundation of the life, because the man start to do his implement with the rocks. And the rocks uh, has a special meaning for me because in the in a town, in a town that is uh, near to Metapan, in a town named Tawilapa, all of the streets are uh, in the past, uh, now I have uh, four years to, to go there, but in the past, this okay. town. <laughs> uh -huh, keep going. 
uh, this town was uh, the, the, the street was filled with the with rocks, and all of the people of that town they throw rocks to everything. To uh, they are spurred throwing rocks. Hmm. <laughs> okay, good job. Let's see. The man start to do his implements. He said, uh, "When you generalize." Sorry. No, but first, uh, when you generalize, man, yes, you don't need yes, the article. You just yes, say, yes, only man, yes. man. That's it. Man, man, man started. Man, man started this. Man started. started to do. Or doing. Yeah, that sounds better, right? Man started doing. Huh. I will have said making. Making, yes. Because you transform something, okay. Men started making his implements well, there you with go. with rocks. No, it's okay. His implements. Okay. Men started making his or its implements with rocks, and, and again, the rocks. Yes, is not needed. Yes. Yeah, generalizing. Okay, I have four years to go there without going. Without going, yes. I have four years. Without going there, yeah. Yes. Without going there. Hmm. How else can I say this? I have four years not being there, or haven't been there for four years. I haven't been there for four years. I haven't been there for four years is the most appropriate because in Spanish, you say the same. You use present perfect. No he estado ahí por cuatro años. En cuatro años. No he estado ahí. Forty. forty years, okay. Yes, forty years. So I have forty years without going there. That sounds good as well. Okay, next topic. Hmm. Teaching. Teaching. A... Wow. I know she you was... like. I know you like that. <laughs> okay. Three. It was a special two... thing for me because uh, teaching was the the main that I can gain respect. From my partners, I was in an internship, and uh, I I was the the guy that explained all of the subject to my partners, and then they protect me, they cover me, and they respect me, and I I have no problems with nobody because I have a group that uh, is surround me all all the time. <laughs> Because they wanted that I explained the, then all of the subjects in the in the class. I have a doubt here. Wait, uh, so the main thing that I can gain from my partners, uh, what what were we speak. that I that I could expect, but wait a minute. What we're talking about teaching? teaching. Yes, yes, because I, I start teaching to to my partners, and uh, then at the end of my uh, 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 high course? school, uh -huh. the principal asked me if I can stay. In the if school. you could stay, I started. So yes. we have an issue with the past. I started teaching. At school, I started yes, teaching yes. to my classmates. I started, started teaching. teaching to my classmates. I started teaching in, at school. The main thing that I could do, the past of Ken, uh, the main thing that I could, uh, no, I got lost. I got the, I lost the idea. Uh, so they protected me. They, we have an issue with the past. Try to study the past. They protected yes. me and they respected me. Okay. Something even better. I gained, this is what you were trying to say. I gained my classmates' respect yes. because I used to teach them. I used to teach them. So they saw you as a as a teacher, really? So you were like the assistant, the teacher's assistant? Yes, yes. The teacher sometimes uh, said me, hey, can you go to the 
this grade and, and, and teach that lesson? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> About uh, what? Any any subject? Uh, maybe math. Uh, mainly math. Really? Math, but, <laughs> but sometimes science and uh, sometimes chemistry, because in that time chemistry was uh, in a, a different subject from science. Mm. And uh, wow. physics. Oh, come on, really? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. You're a box of surprises. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Thank you for staying. Practice simple past. That's it. Hey, we're okay. almost done. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. <laughs>